Here's another risk to worry about. If you're an investor who depends on your stock dividends for income, you're going to want to watch this video. I'll show you a quick and easy way that I use all the time to judge the dividend paying ability of my stocks. I'm Mitch Goldberg with Client First Strategy. I'll show you now. For some signposts, we turn to Mitch Goldberg. We welcome Mitchell Goldberg. I use a dividend payout ratio to see if a company has enough earnings to not only maintain its dividend, but also to see if a potential dividend reduction or dividend boost could happen in the near future. The calculation is very easy to do. You simply take the dividend per share and divide that by the company's earnings per share. So what's the number I like to see? With this ratio, the lower the number, the more I like it. It means that the earnings per share are greater than the dividend. Now let's take a look at three quick examples. The first example appears to be sustainable and it even has room to possibly raise the dividend and still be well below the number one. The second example shows a ratio above one and clearly appears that the earnings per share are not enough to maintain this dividend. The third example shows that the ratio is right at one. In this example, you can tell that both the earnings per share and the dividend per share are equal, but in reality, I would interpret this as a negative because if the company's earnings were to decrease even just a little, which could be caused by a recession, that could potentially jeopardize its ability to maintain the dividend. Now, it does have its limitations. It doesn't take into account corporate restructurings, and it doesn't take into account characteristics that are unique to certain sectors of the economy. But if the dividend payout ratio is 0.8 or higher, to me, that's a red flag that warrants further scrutiny. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please hit me with an email, and I'll see you next time. Open up the champagne, pop. It's my house, come on, turn it up. Uh. Hear a knock on the door and the night begins. Cause we've done this before, so you come on in. Make yourself a